Hi everyone, welcome. My name's Tracy and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Central Victoria. Welcome to my, my Thursday Facebook Live. I go live every Thursday and I'm gonna wait just a couple of minutes to see who pops on or um, if anyone pops on, usually I do have a few people on, so I'll wait until I get a few people. Um, I've got heaps to show you uh, tonight and we're creating a really very simple card uh, tonight using a colour splash combo. So we're using a colour combo and it's using the What's Cooking bundle. So it's in the annual catalogue and it's a really cute bundle. So I'm looking forward to showing that with you. So as you pop on, please pop on and say hello. Let me know where you're watching from if you're new here and if you are new here, welcome. So by uh, commenting and um, putting your name down, you also go in the draw next week for the card that we create tonight. So make sure that you do say hello, whether you're watching live, the replay or over on YouTube. Um, it's always good to pop your name down. Hi Pam. Hi Ingrid. Happy Thursday to you too. Hi Glenda. I am well. How is everyone? Uh, is everyone well as well? Hi Lisa. I um, hope you're well. Thank you for that share on the Facebook group. I really appreciate that. How's everyone's week been? I am super tired today. Um, it's been a long week for me. And I have yawned probably about four or five times before coming on. So hopefully, hopefully I don't yawn throughout this. Um, so I haven't had an eventful day today. And um, hi Renee, how are you? So I went and had a COVID test with my husband today. Um, we, we're going away this weekend to the snow um, at Mount Buller. So you have to get a negative COVID test to be able to go. So um, we had to get that done today. So I don't have any symptoms. I'm not crook or unwell, but um, yeah, I've got to have that to be able to get onto the mountain. So I'm super exciting. Hi, Ali. Watching in England as you've got no work today. Well, welcome and good morning. I'm glad that you've made it. Hi, Marion, how are you? We have Deirdre on. Pam's enjoying being out of lockdown. I know, it's been wonderful. It's been very, very good. You're good, excellent, Renee, that's wonderful. Yeah, so we are going um, away for the weekend, going um, tomorrow, just after lunch, up to Mansfield. We've got a Airbnb house up at Mansfield, so that's gonna be exciting. We're, we're um, skiing on Saturday, as long as our tests come back, and um, my adult daughter and one of her friends are coming and my son and his girlfriend's coming. So it's gonna be a packed house and it's gonna be so much fun. So really looking forward to that. We're going up to the mountain on Saturday. We've got our ski lifts and all those things that are involved. So um, it's gonna be so much fun. Hopefully it's really good weather. I've only been skiing one other time, so I'm excited to get back at it. But um, hi Sandy. Yes. Oh, Deidre's back just from walking the dogs. Well, welcome Deidre. Yeah, so that is gonna be super fun. We're there Friday night and Saturday night, so coming back Sunday. So that'll be really nice. It was a little bit touch and go with uh, the lockdown and whether we're gonna get out of the lockdown or not. So I'm excited, it's gonna be great. Hi Becky, how are you? Hope you've had a really good week. Oh, thank you, Ingrid. Yeah, um, it'll be nice just to get away. And it's regional Victoria to regional Victoria. So we, we thought we would be fairly safe, but it's really hard to um, sometimes plan anything because it is also up in the air. Deirdre doesn't like the snow. You don't like being cold. That's okay. Um, I like to look at it. I don't think I'd like to live in it. That's probably the difference. It's like, I love Melbourne, but I wouldn't want to live in it either. Oh, thank you everyone. Beautiful. Okay, so I've got a fair few on here. Um, what we do, might, might do is, and I just stuttered then, <laughs> what we might do is we'll get into it. I've got a few more things to talk to you about, but we can do that while we're crafting. So uh, let's get into it and I'll pop that camera down. Um, 
just thinking, I don't think I put the camera around the other way. So you would have been looking at everything back the front, but that's okay. Don't think it hurts. Just gonna bring my light in. Hopefully that's not too jittery or dark. I am looking forward to summer only because my lighting is not too bad in the afternoons uh, when we're in summer. The winter time, it's so dark in here and you need those extra lights, but it, it has a lot of flickering and that's really painful. Deirdre said she'd miss going to Cairns on Monday, so she's rebooked for the 24th of August. I will keep my fingers crossed for you too, Deirdre. It is super painful to try and organise anything right now. I think it's, um, I don't know, I'm just sort of hoping that things start going back to normal, especially as we start going into um, summer. You can only hope. All right, so Sunday's Facebook challenge this week, the theme was Christmas and I was so excited because um, I don't think it's ever too early to get into Christmas. And you know, there is that Christmas in July every year. So let me show you the cards that I created and there's quite a few. I used one sketch and used a designer series paper and then just sort of went with there. So the video is on YouTube, you can watch that over there. I have used the trimmings and tidings designer series paper which is in the annual catalog so you can get hold of that now. Hi Chrissy, welcome, how was your week? Beautiful one here. And I've also used the Artistically Inked Bundle. I think that's what it's called. So love, love, love that bundle. So these are really quick and easy cards once you have everything pre-cut, uh, embossed using one of the new embossing folders. And you could add rhinestones to these, pearls to them so many different things to really jazz them up a little bit more or you could take scale it back a little bit and make them a little bit simpler quiet one for you fantastic sometimes that's good so i've used um nearly all the same colors we have evening evergreen cherry cobbler uh sahara sand let's see what else i think that's pretty much it and um, soft succulent, which is one of the new ink colors. Oh, you got the catalog, you're welcome, Chrissy. No problem. And then I did do this one as well. So this wasn't part of this set, but this one I used that real red satin ribbon just to change it up a little bit. And look how beautiful that is. You could banner cut the ends of the ribbon as well. And that really does jazz it up just that little bit more or you could use the embossed cardstock. So it probably depends on how many you're doing. Um, I could also say that if you have a lot to do and you're conserving ribbon, you could use two small pieces and attach them underneath rather than using one long one. Um, there's plenty of ways to conserve your craft supplies. So that's always good. Oh, thank you so much, Sandy. Yeah, they're just, I always like to do um, a bulk lot of Christmas cards. I think sometimes starting off with a bulk lot helps to get all those Christmas cards ready for Christmas. And I wanted to use uh, one of the, or the Christmas DSP in the annual catalogue. So the new mini catalogue, which is the holiday catalogue, will be available next Tuesday. And there is tons of beautiful designer series papers that are Christmas themed in there. But this one here is in the annual catalogue. So... Um, I wanted to jumpstart by using some of the items in the annual catalogue to create a few things as well. So that is there over on my YouTube channel. If you would like to join in this week's challenge, you certainly can. I'll have a new challenge up on Sunday, but um, it's a great way to get in and get started with your Christmas crafting. And even if you didn't want to do Christmas cards, you could do a Christmas project. So go ahead and join in. Okay, so we do only have a few more days left of the Designer Series paper sale and this is a great promotion to get involved in. 15% off for customers. If you're a demonstrator, you're going to get your demonstrator rewards on top of that. So um, 
your 20% so you could get 35% off design series papers so fantastic there are nine in the in the available of this uh, sale we have beauty of the earth bloom where you're planted which was my stamp with Tracy class last month we have hand penned which is really really beautiful pansy petals in the wild in good taste sweet symmetry which is what we're going to be using in the stamp with Tracy class this month the tidings of Christmas and I think I was calling it something else so this is the designer series paper that I used for my cards for these ones here so tidings of Christmas and then you're a peach so these are available till the second which I believe is Monday and you can get, go over to my online store and purchase those there alrighty so the step with Tracy class um, I will have that up tomorrow um, I'm gonna be sending out the email with um, the online link as well as the two subscription and the one month on only so this is a five three cards two projects so five projects in all in this kit you'll get the PDF with video tutorial you'll get a quarter pack of the sweet symmetry designer series paper this is beautiful the bold patterns wonderful colors they're, they're a little bit different and I think that's why I'm really drawn to them um, they're not super girly but they're not gaudy either i really like this one here so you'll get a quarter pack of that paper you'll also get a pack of rhinestones and a full roll of the bumblebee gingham ribbon and then i have the five kits so three card kits two beautiful um project kits these are boxes and I did show you last week one of the boxes so let me show you that one again just to give you a quick look so this one actually holds it does fit a Kit Kat oh sorry not a Kit Kat a Mars bar or a Snickers so there we go upside down Miss Jane and using the products that we have here so this is a really nice little gift that you could give out very inexpensive um, but who wouldn't like that as a little thank you gift so thank you gifts don't have to be super expensive and when you can make them like this it's fantastic so there we go so that one will be available you can purchase that over my blog but if you're wanting the online only version you have to sign up for my emails and you can go over to my blog and sign up for my emails there like I said I'm going to send out the email tomorrow so if you're interested please go over there today and sign up for my email so you'll be on the list tomorrow all right so I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to make some room on my desk because otherwise it gets really cluttered so we have the Simply Sweet Stampers Tutorial Bundle. This is using the Yora Peach. So there's only a few more days left to get this one as well. Uh, this is $9.99 US over on my blog. It's an instant download. So as soon as you pay for it, you will download it and you'll be able to print it out or just save it. There are 12 tutorials in here, both cards and 3D projects. Hi Fiona, how are you? And let me just show you the project that I have. So we're gonna have a new one, I think next week. I sh it should be ready for next week. And I'm so excited for that one as well. But this is a cute little project using the jam jars from the um, annual catalog. Super cute. So that one is available. Now I also have a special for anyone purchasing through me this month. For a $50 order, not only do you get the other perks, but you'll also get this one, this tutorial bundle, as a freebie as well. So a $50 order, you'll get this one for free. Now for anyone who does purchase through me, through um, using the host code, like I said, you've only got a few more days left to take up this host code. But with um, purchasing through me, you'll get this tutorial bundle it is packed full of wonderful projects now my team members also get this as a free gift for being part of my team it has full color photos all the um, products used the dimensions and the instructions so it's packed full of wonderful inspiration 
using all current products. This one is the actual my card tutorial. This one here using the Euro Peach uh, bundle. Super sweet card and a really simple one as well. So that one is what you'll get for this month. You also received this month's thank you cards. This is the appreciation card for July. And uh, the other thing is if you order over $50, you'll get the SSS tutorial bundle as well. So I love to spoil my customers. And um, just a quick note to, if you would like one of the new catalogs, so the um, mini catalog, and I'll just grab it, mini catalog and celebration. Now, if you're already ordering through another demonstrator, please ask your demonstrator. But if you're not already ordering through a demonstrator and you would like one of these catalogs sent to you, please get in touch with me. I'm happy to send them out. And um, this is packed full of some wonderful pro products. These, this catalogue will be orderable from Tuesday and the celebration starts Tuesday as well. So for every $90, you'll get to choose a free item. So, um, and the free items are stamp sets, DSP, dies. There's wonderful products in here. So it is a wonderful time to um, purchase your craft supplies. It's also a really great time during the mini catalog time, so from the 3rd of August. Um, it's a great time to join. And by joining, um, what you'll be doing is you'll be purchasing the starter kit. So it's a little bit like a Costco membership. You um, pay $169, you get to choose $235 worth of product. So unlike a Costco membership where you pay your money and then you have to shop and then pay for your products as well, the starter kit, what it does is um, you get your products first off, then for every order after that, you're gonna get a discount of 20%. But um, you need to have that membership to be able to purchase at that discount. So there is so many wonderful um, perks for being a demonstrator, but um, I will go through them in another video really soon. And I would love to welcome you to my team my team is the the Inky Stampers. And another great thing about joining through Celebration is you'll get to choose a free bundle option as well. Now there are selected bundles and I've just, I printed out the list just to show you all. I do have a couple of the bundles, so I wanna just quickly show you. So by signing up for the starter kit, you'll get one of these free in your starter kit. So you can get to choose one of them. So there is the Sweet Little Stockings Bundle. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna have a class with this one coming out really soon with Wendy Cranford. So excited for this one. Another one is the Penguin Place, which is the one we used last week on the live. So this one here. Oh, hi, Amanda. Oh, that's okay. You're not that late. You're all good. So this is the, another one and I do have a third one here, this Christmas season, which is gorgeous. And these dies, there's actually 19 dies in this set. So let me just quickly show you this one as well. So those are the dies, wonderful labels, as well as images that cut out from the stamp set. So there is heaps more there to choose from, as you can see. But how fantastic is that, that you can choose um, not only free product, because you're paying $169, you're choosing $235 worth of product, but then you get a free bundle on top of your choice. So, absolutely fantastic. So, I'll do a video with um, that joining special soon for you as well. All right, so don't forget, if you're in need of a catalogue, get in touch with me. I'll happily send them out. Um, and the last announcement before we start crafting is my paper share and celebration. This event is gonna be awesome. So it has all the new designer series papers from the mini catalog. So this one here, um, there are nine in all, and that includes the specialty papers. I'm gonna show you those really quickly as well. So I have them already packaged up. They come in a clear plastic sleeve with a label that show, tells you what the um, designer series paper is called as well as the um, reorder code. So we have Harvest Meadow, Painted Christmas, gorgeous sweet stockings, 
cute Halloween Backbury Beauty, which is a specialty paper. We have Peaceful Place, which is another specialty paper. Gingerbread and Peppermint. Heartwarming Hugs and Whimsy and Wonder, which is a specialty paper. This is a silver foiling as well. So in the Paper Share and Celebration, you'll get this Paper Share. You'll also receive nine card kits. And so there'll be nine card bases with all your kits in it. Now, it won't come like this because I do put the kits for every card inside the DSP. So what it is, is you'll get the card base and any of the elements, you'll cut your DSP up and you'll create the card. Now, um, each designer series paper I've already created a card for, card for it, and um, it's a great way to use your designer series paper. So I do have two of the cards here. So this is the Sweet Stockings. So cute, I love this paper. So many different animals on there as well. I think everyone is catered for. And then this one here, which is the Painted Christmas. So a bit of a fun fold. Okay, so the celebration, you can do it a couple of different ways. You could do just the paper share, paper share only. So you're just getting the paper. That is $57. You can do the paper share and celebration, which includes the card kits, the paper, and the video and PDF and the live event. That is $77. At the live event, we'll also have prizes. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then there is a third option of um, the get it all. So the get it all will be the paper, the card kits, the PDF, the video tutorial, the live event, and the stamp sets that we're actually using on the cards. So let me show you the three stamp sets that we're using. We have the Heartfelt Wishes. This one is really great for all the sentiments. Perfect for all your holiday crafting. We have the Little Delights, which this is really fantastic. This is a little bit like Ben a Year last year, which is still available in the annual catalog. We have birthday and Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving. It's all sort of rolled into one stamp set and then we have that Christmas season that I just sh showed you that is part of that bundle if you join Stamping Up so this one here and this has wonderful dies in it as well lots of labels and the dies that cut out all these wonderful pr products here as well so that one is for the get it all bundle is $235 and I'll tell you what it's going to be an amazing event so I really hope that you'll go over and sign up and join in so that will be available till the 3rd of August so alrighty I have talked enough let me bring in the card that we're going to create tonight I'll quickly show you this one here so it's using the what's cooking bundle hi joy how are you so I just want to quickly show you that What's Cooking bundle. This is in the annual catalogue. Haven't had a chance to play with it too much. But I absolutely... I'm not a huge cook, but I love this set. But um, the cooking dies, there's 10 in all. So not only do some of them cut out some of our stamps, you've got some extras here that you can add different layers to as well. So... Super cute for any baker or cook, if you're creating some cards, or if you do um, jams or preserves or anything like that, you could make wonderful tags for them as well. So just another way of um, using your craft tools for other things. You're well, thank you. Oh, that's good, Joy, fantastic. All right, so we are using this set. And like I said before, we always, uh, well, we have been doing the Colour Splash Challenges with Wendy Cranford. So this Colour Splash combo, let me bring it in and show you, is Soft Sea Foam, Fresh Freesia, Just Jade and Misty Moonlight. So super beautiful colours. I'm not 100% sure about the whole Just Jade in there. And as you can see, that's why I've sort of just added a little bit of a, circle in underneath I don't know I just wasn't 
I'm not a real big fan of the Just Jade with these colours, but anyway, that's the card that we're going to create. After we've created that card, we are going to give away last week's card. So let me just quickly show you that one as well. So that's this one here. So if you watched last week and you left a comment, you're in the draw to win this one. So we'll do that after we've done our crafting. Alrighty. So I do have my kit sort of ready to go. I'm not as organised tonight. I thought I'll do some cutting and that as we talk. So we have a thick white, basic white card base. Always use the thick. And then I have some more thick basic white for our stamping and uh, die cutting. Fresh Freesia, Just Jade and Misty Moonlight. And I am using these gorgeous tailor-made ta tag dies. These are in the annual catalogue. These are great. I love using the tags. So we're going to use that largest tag die and we're going to have a basic white as well as a misty moonlight um, and then I'm actually using a retired item so does everyone still grab out your go-to retired items for me that's the stitch shape framelots I think these ones are just fantastic they come in the three different shapes so squares circles and ovals and yeah I can't give them away I can't can't stop using them so anyway so I'm going to use that smallest one for the just jade then the next one up in misty moonlight and then the next one up there is fresh freesia now if you don't have these and you can't get hold of them you can use the layering circle dies they work just as well but I'm going to bring in my cutting emboss machine to do a little bit of this die cutting. Use them all the time, plus the triangles. Yeah, I think I'm really surprised that Stamping Up even got rid of them because, I don't know, I think they're a very big staple for a lot of, a lot of crafters. So I'm going to run this one through first. So has anyone got any anything exciting going on this weekend? Deidre says so many people are selling theirs, which she thinks is silly. Absolutely. Yeah, that's one set that there is absolutely no way I'm getting rid of. I think there's definitely ones that you buy and you're happy to get rid of or on sell so you can buy something else, but... Yeah, I don't know. I used them a lot and a lot in classes as well. Sandy's not getting rid of them either. <laughs> okay, so I've got my two large tags. Now these tags are really good as well because they come in two different um, styles but four different sizes. So I like that as well. And let me just bring that in and show you. You also receive in the die set the little um, circles for the tops of the tags. I'm not using them in this card, but they are, they are in the kit as well. Lisa was going to go to Bourne again, but it's been cancelled. A oh, crafty weekend. That's okay, Lisa, as long as you've got some craft to do. I think it makes it okay. Hi Carolyn, how was your day? So I've got the Misty Moonlight again and we're going to use that um, second smallest. I'm going to see if I can put in the Just Jade one as well. I need that smallest one. Oh, a little bit tight this one. So, um, how many people have had that COVID test done? It wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I will admit, but um, just tickled. But I was really hoping to not have to have it at all. But 
understand why they have it done. been a little while since I was coughing. I was started coughing. <coughs> oh damn. <coughs> I'll have to bring that back over again in a minute just to die cut our spoon. But we do have to do our stamping first. So I've used the 2021-2023 in colour DSP. This has all that, um, the five in colours. And I'm just got, I'm actually using the Fresh Freesia one. So this one here. <clears throat> Lisa's had one early on, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking, Lisa. I was expecting a lot worse, but it just just a tickle. Hi, Cyan, how are you? Welcome. So I'm going to cut down my DSP piece. And let me see if I can get the measurements here. Four and one eighth. And five and seven eighths. So that's going to cover the, the whole card base. No, it's not. I cut it too short. <sighs> you know what? I'll just cut the card down. That measurement's right. I just didn't cut it down right. I did five and five eighths. So I'll cut my card base to five and five eighths. So the measurements that will be on <clears throat> the YouTube channel tomorrow will be correct. If you cut them correctly. Carolyn says she's going to have another day in paradise at the office. And you received your penguin card. Oh, you're welcome. That's fantastic. That must have went all the way to Melbourne and back. All right. So I did make a boo-boo with my designer series paper and I've had to cut down my card base, but it'll be fine. Um, we have our circles pre-done as well as our labels. So let's bring in that stamp set. I'm gonna need a few of these stamps. And I haven't mounted them yet. These new cling stamps work so well, but sometimes they're a little hard to get pulled up. At least they're not falling off our blocks anymore. If you've been around stamping up for a little while, I'm sure you've had your stamp fall off your block a few times. So I'm just using the rolling pin, that wooden spoon, the bowl, and that sentiment that says, sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. But there's a nice lot of uh, sentiments there that you can use. So I'm going to need a bigger block for these two. Fantastic. Right, so we are going to do a little bit of heat embossing as well with our sentiment, which is always fun to do. Never a booby, just a readjustment. Absolutely. I can always show you guys how to fix something. <laughs> um, yes, it is, Carolyn. Absolutely. 
All right, so we're going to do our background stamping in Fresh Freesia as well as the Soft Seafoam. I thought these two colours really work well um, together. They're a lot lighter. And I'm going to start with the Fresh Freesia because this image um, of our mixing bowl is a little bit bigger. So we always start with the biggest image that we have. Hello, Facebook ladies. <laughs> that was my husband saying hello from a distance. So you probably not, probably didn't hear you hear him very well. All right, so soft sea foam. This is a nice light. Oh, and a wrong one. We're doing the rolling pin. So I'm just going to fill in the gaps with that rolling pin. Look at that, that is so cute. Love these colours together. And we're also going to bring in that other bit of basic white, the thick piece, and we're going to stamp our little spoon. Where is it? So I'm just going to run that one through the cut and emboss machine. I won't bring it over because it'll take a minute to do. But I'm also going to cut that down just a fraction. So last week, Pippi had a little, she's a Chihuahua Cross Maltese, but um, she's got the Chihuahua attitude, but it doesn't look like a Chihuahua, if that makes sense. She went in and had her operation last week and she is so much better. She's done really, really well. She had um, quite a lot of teeth taken out, which um, made her breath really bad and um, I think was sort of stopping her from eating a little bit as well. So she's had had those teeth out. She actually still has a ton of teeth left over, which I thought they may have taken all of them out, but they haven't, which is good because she still can eat her crackles. She really likes. So I'm just adding liquid adhesive down to that designer series paper, popping that straight down. No border on this one. But one thing we've noticed is how much she eats now. She's an eating machine. I think she's eating pretty much on par the same as the German Shepherd, which is crazy. So I'm gonna add some dimensionals to this one. I want it to be popped up, but to the side. And we're gonna add some white Baker's twine as well. Now the one I'm using, I think is from a retired um, combo. But you can get the basic white um, twine in the essentials pack now. It's a five pack. Yeah, I think it has crumb cake and what else is in there? Black crumb cake. It has a, a grey, so the grey granite. So it has a few different ones in there. So that's really good. Alrighty, so I think next thing we're going to do is a sentiment because we're going to heat and boss that one. And because I'm not having any luck tonight, I am going to use my embossing buddy again just to make sure I don't have any stray powders. So I'm using the Versamark ink, which is a clear sticky ink. Stamping Up do sell it in their catalogue. So I'm going to stamp that sentiment in the middle and then we're going to use the white embossing powder um, your whippet had its dew claws removed about three weeks ago I saw that Deirdre what are dew claws I did see that and I've wondered what it was I didn't look it up 
You have the beautifulest little whippet though. My husband loves whippets. And greyhounds, which I suppose they're both very similar. And just melt that powder there until it goes nice and clear. Oh, the vet said it's like having our thumbs removed. So does that affect him at all, Deidre? So this sentiment's really quite little um, or fine. So a heat emboss is just that little bit different than a thicker image. That looks really good. So with that powder we can, I'm just going to let that dry just a little bit before I go over it. And that powder comes off really quite easily. Lovely. All right, so we can start popping the card together. Now, if I've missed anyone's questions or comments, I catch you later on um, as I'm reading through all your comments. <clears throat> I do find it difficult sometimes to do three different things. <coughs> okay, so we have the fresh freesia. And I'm not sick. What it is, is my lighting. It makes me hot and then makes me cough. Which is another reason why... Although I hate summer, I'm looking forward to not having these lights on. So I'm going to pop that Just Jade in there as well. I'm sort of overlapping these a little bit as well. It doesn't matter too much. Just move it over a little. There we go. With our tag there, I'm going to add some of that basic white twine. And I'm doubling it over just for something a little different. And tying a little bow. Has everyone been watching the Olympics? I haven't been closely watching it. There's so many reality shows on at the moment that I'm having trouble finding time to, to watch anything. It's just way too much on. So I'm just doing a basic bow here. I've got more than I need, but that's okay. We can do a little bit of trimming of the edges. And to stop it from really twirling too much, if you hold on to the middle of the knot and then just pull it in slowly, that keeps it really nice and organized. Cool. I'm gonna bring in my ribbon scissors just so I get a nice clean chop off. Cool. That's actually a little bit longer than my previous one, but that'll be fine. Um, we're going to use liquid adhesive for this one. So not quite so much pop-up on this card, but there's enough. So I'm hoping to do a Christmas-themed card for next week, as we'll be in... The new catalogue so it'll definitely be using something from the new catalogue anyway super excited to start using it and showing things off um, so on the right hand side we're going to pop some dimensionals but because it's sitting on our tag we want to just use our liquid adhesive 
So I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid, bring my dimensionals in for the sides. See, this card is super easy. And I've moved this one over a little bit so we can really see the tag. I'm going to add some dimensionals to the spoon. And then we're going to bring in some rhinestones for a little bit of embellishment. And I've grabbed my soft seafoam stamping blend. We're going to add some colour to those rhinestones, which is a fantastic tool. Stamping blends are alcohol-based markers, so you can use them to colour ribbon, rhinestones, pearls, all sorts of embellishments, which is a great way of theming up what you do already have. So let me bring in some rhinestones and I've got tons here. Here is my stamping blend and I've got the dark because so uh, the soft sea foam is so light. And I think, actually, now I'm thinking about it, I think I used the Just Jade. Let's use the Just Jade instead. So I'm going to use that thick end. I'm going to colour them in. Definitely. Yeah, I don't know whether that soft sea foam would have done the trick. So I've got three of those coloured in. You could use the Fresh Freesia as well. But it gives it a really nice little bit of extra colour. And I'm just going to add them. Oh, that one wasn't dry. If you can leave them just for a minute or so until they dry, it would be better. Oh. Wonderful. So that's our card for tonight. Very nice, I like it. Uh, Carolyn's asking if the stitch circles are still available. They are retired, Carolyn, I'm sorry. Um, it's one of those things, they always say you should never use retired products, but um, I love these stitched shapes. You can use the layering circle dies. They are available in the catalog. Um, I just really liked the stitched going with the stitched tailor dies there as well oh thank you joy yeah so make sure that you leave a message so you can go on the draw next week for this card but let me bring in last week's card which is the penguin place i have the names all ready and i'm just going to grab a tissue my nose is running now <laughs> oh thank you everyone Alrighty, so we're gonna now draw a name for this week's card. So good luck everyone. Oh thanks Sandy, and we certainly will have a great weekend. Okay, I have, have a name. Ingrid, well done Ingrid. That's fantastic. Well, I'll send you this card tomorrow, my friend. That's fantastic. Alrighty, let me pop the camera around this way. Alrighty. Excellent. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Um, I'll be back next Thursday um, with a Christmas theme. <clears throat> I do have another card that I've already created, but I think we might do two cards because... The card that I created, I used the Benny Year stamp set, um, which is a returning um, in the annual catalog. And I really wanna use something from the mini catalog. So we'll be doing something with that. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, I'm always up for doing something that you guys wanna see or um, yeah, let me know, um, which would be fantastic. 
All right, so I, like I said, going away this weekend. So if you follow me on my social media, you might see a few uh, photos or videos. I'll, I'll keep you updated anyway. And yeah, we'll have a wonderful time. All right, everyone, if you could share this video, I would really appreciate it. And if you don't already follow me on my um, YouTube or, or this um, Facebook page, please do that so you can um, see what's going on. And don't forget my uh, Stamp with Tracy classes, the email will go out tomorrow. <clears throat> so if you're not part of my emails, head over tonight, do that. Um, the email will go out tomorrow. So um, that's fantastic. All right, everyone, have a nice night and I'll see you all next week. Okay, bye.